Okay, this is where we're at. I call this the uh, the sleigh phase. Uh, basically subframe uh, your rocker tubes uh, your side door bar and your braces um, I've got some tubing already laid in here I spent the majority of the first half hour or hour of the day it's probably more like an hour if I'm being honest uh, checking and double checking everything for square uh, fortunate fortunately and unfortunately because this is not built in a jig and not fully completely CNC'd. A lot of it's built by hand. Um, I don't have a fixture yet made for this. So check and recheck and double check and triple check all your measurements and make sure everything's square. This tube, I spent most of the morning moving this tube forward because it was a quarter inch out. And when I took my cross measurements, I was quarter inch everywhere out. So move this tube forward and uh, got everything mocked up in here and got my door bar door braces got my uh, rosettes or holes drilled out for my plug welds for these joints got these tubes um, beveled and ready uh, for a joint weld i'm gonna have to go and cut my sleeves my internal sleeves here and um one thing I want to talk about is I need to get these A-pillar posts fully welded in on the bottom before I tack this tube in. Because of the way these joints fit so tightly, it completely covers up uh, this joint on this A-pillar post. And uh, I want to get some weld in there. I think that'll be stronger before I put this, this brace tube in. A lot of people maybe wouldn't do that, but I think it would be stronger if I do do that. Matter of fact, I know it would be stronger. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, then put these tubes in. And I'm gonna have to weld some kind of temporary brace across here so these tubes don't pull this direction or that direction as I weld them. Um, then we'll get the door bar in and uh, talk, about, uh, talk about some more stuff. I don't have a whole lot of words in me today kind of wanted to just get out here and get to work. I haven't been able to work on this as much this weekend as I wanted to. I've been working on motorhome, trying to get it ready for a trip next weekend. So here we go. Okay, so what I'm doing here is uh, preparing those internal sleeves, those inch and a half internal sleeves. I just got one of these uh, band uh, belt sanders, handheld ones, works pretty good. And then here, using a rat tail rasp, file um, to uh, prepare those door bars to get those internal sleeves slid into and then I went ahead and just welded up these uh, rosette or plug welds whatever you want to call them and uh, moving on to the next step here got door bars installed and uh, ready to go so what I was talking about was this joint right here on the a pillar post um, it's going to be hidden. Let me see if I can do this with two hands. I don't have the camera stabilizer, but. So that joint is going to be hidden by that brace tube. So if I go ahead and tack in this brace tube, I am not going to be able to get to that joint and weld it all the way around. So I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is throw uh, a weld on that. I might get fancy and try to TIG weld it, just so that the weld itself is not so big. 
but even if I weld it and have to grind back this joint a little bit or grind back the weld a little bit, it's going to be stronger than not having a weld there at all. So I just went ahead and threw a, uh, a MIG bead in there just real quick. And uh, I don't know, maybe it wasn't necessary, but uh, I feel better about that. So I got that side done. And that side done. So we'll go ahead and throw the braces in, get those tacked up. Well, uh, fucked up. Got a little bit weld happy. And I didn't check this first. That ain't gonna work. So I'm gonna have to cut this out and uh, I think I weld this side first. I'll cut that. I'll cut that weld a little bit, and then I'll weld this other side. And hopefully, I can get this tube to straighten out. It just it pulled back quite a bit, even though I had this uh, door bar tacked in. Um, but yeah, definitely not plumb. Okay, check this out. Get yourself a cheat code like this. Bentec Dragon. Find somebody that's got one of these. Design your chassis in Bentec. Send it out. I just had the straight parts cut. It would take me forever to do that notch by hand. Look at the complexity on that notch. And that goes over here. Right here. I'm gonna have to put the camera down. All right, I already got the tube cleaned up a little bit. Need to run through there and get that other dross off of there. Holy crap. You gotta see this. So I had all these straight tubes cut, CNC cut, um saves me a ton of time having to notch all this stuff by hand so anyway i am beyond impressed i just had the straight tubes cut none of the stuff that i bent everything i bent i had to hand notch like uh outriggers um obviously the main frame rails all that but let's zoom out a little bit so we're not right up on it um check this out well, I mean, there's a CNC notch, CNC notched, CNC notched, CNC notched. But this tube right here, the lower W tube, look at that. That is phenomenal.